Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Ohio High School Sports Awards. Brought to you by the USA Today Network and presented by Mercy Health. Featuring the voice of the Buckeyes, Paul Keel. Yeah. I'm back in, I'm back on. Stand up like backbone. I'm beast mode, I'm so strong. Go hard and go on. No stopping, I can't stop. I will not lose. I'ma always win. Now let the games begin now. Uh, uh, uh. Go hard like A day. And here are your hosts from ESPN, Seth Greenberg and Lafonso Ellis. Fonzarelli. Yes. This is like the Duke, North Carolina of high school award shows. Well, it's got to be ACC. How about back in the day, Notre Dame, UCLA? These kids weren't even born back then, Fonz. Come Thank on, you. give me a break My here. Bad. Welcome, everyone, to the high school sports award show, where school bells and buzzer beaters ring equally loud, and the nominees are as versed in their X's and O's as their E equals MC squared. Wow, that's right, Coach. Tonight we're going to celebrate the best high school athletes in the state. We're going to give it up for players from a veritable spectrum of sports. We'll also show some love for teams and coaches as well as crown the male and female Athlete of the Year. <sighs> Fonz, you are killing me with that Notre Dame degree. <laughs> if you're going to go bust out phrases like variable spectrum of sports at the top of the show, <laughs> Like, I went to Harvard on a hack and sack. I'm going to go have to get my thesaurus. Come on, Coach. You're a smart guy. You already quoted Einstein. Looks like we both hit the books to prepare for these kids. We also brought some heavy hitters along the way to help celebrate their achievements. We're talking about names like the legendary Aaron Rodgers, the incomparable Alex Morgan, and the unstoppable Big Aristotle, mm. Shaquille O'Neal. You played against Shaq, right? Uh, yes, I did. And how'd that go? Did he name a dunk after you? Uh, praise God, he did not. Man, I'm so glad the social media wasn't around that time. I'm confident it would have been all over the place and I would have been a consistent meme. A meme. <laughs> Funny you mentioned social media because we have a lot going on over there. And here to explain the third part of our team, Abby Labar. What up, Ohio? We have a lot of athletes from the Buckeye State to celebrate, and we know you guys are up for the challenge. So tag us in your social posts. Share photos and videos from your own celebrations using our hashtag. Post on Instagram or Twitter will be shown in the social media feed on the show website. Plus, one lucky person using the hashtag on Instagram or Twitter will receive an autographed gift from one of our featured guests tonight. Question for, for you, Fonz. Hmm. If 60% of the human body is water, what percentage of Katie Ledecky is at home in the pool? Well, she won her first Olympic gold medal in London as a 15-year-old. She then added four more Olympic golds, 15 world championships, two NCAA titles, and a whole bunch of freestyle world records. Eh, I'd say 100%. She was pretty good. <laughs> You're correct, sir. Guess that's why we've got her to present our Swim and Dive Awards. Hey all you swimmers and divers out there, it's Katie Ledecky. This is an Olympic year, which means the whole world gets really into our sports for the summer. And they get very excited to see their favorite swimmers touch the wall or their divers make a clean entry. But they don't know, like you all know, the thousands upon thousands of laps and dives that went into that winning moment. So I just want to tip my swim cap to all you guys who put in the long hours in the pool. Because when those victories come, they're so much sweeter when there are a bunch of folks out there who know what it takes to make it to the podium. Here are the honorees for the Female Swimming and Diving Athlete of the Year. And the finalists are And the Ohio Female Swimming and Diving Athlete of the Year is Ava Lachey of New Albany High School. 
Junior Ava Lachey led her school to a Division I state championship, anchoring victories in the 400-yard freestyle relay and the 200-yard medley relay. The versatile swimmer, who also picked up a tie for second place in the 100-yard freestyle and a fourth-place finish in the 200-yard freestyle, will continue her swimming career at UCLA. Congratulations on being the best in the state, Ava. Here are the honorees for the Male Swimming and Diving Athlete of the Year. And the finalists are... And the Ohio Male Swimming and Diving Athlete of the Year is Avery Voss of Upper Arlington High School. Upper Arlington's Avery Voss was in a category of his own this year. The senior shy did the Division I state championship with a win in the 100-yard freestyle, a team victory in the 200-yard freestyle relay, and a second-place finish in the 50-yard freestyle. Voss guided Upper Arlington to a second-place finish overall at the meet and will continue his swimming career at Stanford University. Congratulations on being the best in the state, Avery. Fonzarelli, mm -hmm. what's the best score you ever put up? 68. Fonz, you were the seventh pick in the draft. Mm -hmm. I understand you're a world-class athlete, mm -hmm. but that 68, it had to be on like putt-putt. Uh, well, do foot wedges and all of that count? I don't know. Did you ever get 68? On the front nine. How about as a player? Uh. Like a basketball player. Well, I mean, give me a break, coach. I'm kind of a hoops first kind of guy. So we're talking about golf now? Yeah, golf, like the PGA Tour, where every week is a battle of attrition. Unlike us, Ryan Palmer mm -hmm. is no stranger to success wow. between the ropes. With four tour victories and two top 10 finishes in majors, and now he's going to show us the best golfers in the state. Hey everybody, PGA Tour winner Ryan Palmer here. I just want to say to all you golfers out there, well done. Y'all are hitting the ball further these days than golfers from my generation could even dream about when we were in high school. The way you embrace new techniques, technologies, and teaching methods, it's pushing our game to new heights and even lower scores. And with all the social media distractions these days, you guys still have shown the mental toughness to excel in a sport that makes tremendous demands on that space between your ears. So take out your favorite club, raise it over your head, and use it to give yourself a pat on the back. Job well done. Y'all have certainly earned it. Now let's give out some awards today. Here are your honorees for the Female Golfer of the Year. And the finalists are And the Ohio Female Golf of the Year is Anna Ritter of New Albany High School. New Albany's Anna Ritter has been one of the top golfers in the nation for several years and the best in Ohio. The junior led New Albany to a Division I state title last fall, and this spring she finished second in the AGJA Junior National Championship. Ritter has verbally committed to play golf at the University of Illinois. Congratulations on being the best in the state, Anna. Here are your honorees for the Male Golfer of the Year. And the finalists are... The Male Golf Player of the Year for Ohio is Jordan Gillickson of Springboro High School. Jordan Gillickson played his best when it mattered the most. The senior ended his high school career by winning the Division I state championship by three shots and finished with a score of one over par. He is one of the top ranked high school golfers in the country and will continue his career at Kent State University. Congratulations, Jordan, and best of luck at Kent State. They call her six feet of sunshine, and not just because you often find her, 
on the beach. Seth, I wish I was on the beach right now. No, it's because Kerry Walsh Jennings is covered in Olympic gold. The 42-year-old SoCal standout is the most decorated beach volleyball player in Olympic history with three gold medals as well as a bronze. She stepped off the sand to show us the best volleyball players in the state. Hey guys, it's Carrie Walsh Jennings, and I am so honored to be a part of this show that celebrates high school athletes. You don't have to make a living playing sports to know the value of high school athletics. The lessons you learn, the memories you make, the challenges you overcome, they will all help you as you continue on your journey through life. And if you really work hard at it, it can take you all around the world, or even to the top step of the podium. Here are your honorees for the Female Volleyball Player of the Year. And the finalists are... And the Ohio Female Volleyball Player of the Year is... Carly Hendrickson of Mount Notre Dame High School. Junior Carly Hendrickson racked up more than 500 kills this season in route to aiding Mount Notre Dame to its 10th state volleyball title. The six foot two inch Florida commit is one of the best volleyball players to ever come out of Ohio as she prepares for her final varsity season and she's ranked number one in the state and is the number one volleyball recruit in the country. Congratulations Carly. And now for the guys. Here are your honorees for the Male Volleyball Player of the Year. And the finalists are... And the Ohio Male Volleyball Player of the Year is... Bishop Fenwick's Will Richards claims Ohio's top boys volleyball honor after leading Fenwick to the Division II state title and earning first team all GCL honors. The senior missed out on a junior season due to COVID-19, but showed no rust, leading one of the toughest conferences in Ohio with 296 kills, nearly 100 more than the league's second best attacker. Richards, who also shines on the basketball court, uses his dual sport athleticism to his advantage, making him one of the top athletes in the state. Fonzarelli. Yes. You want some real inside sports knowledge? A tip to show up your friends? If so, then pay attention to the Rising Stars Award. It's all about the up and comers, the phenoms who are just getting started, but still pushing the more experienced competitors to their limits because the names you hear today can be the all-stars of tomorrow. Mm. Here are your finalists for the Ohio Rising Star of the Year. And the Ohio Rising Star Award goes to cross-country runner Mia Robillard, a sophomore from Centerville. Sophomore Mia Robillard ran away from the pack this season, leading her team to a Division I state championship and claiming her own individual title as the state's fastest cross-country runner. Right after grabbing her medals in cross country, she headed to the soccer field to help the Elks girls soccer team beat the defending state champions in the Division I regional title. Congratulations, great job. If you don't know the name Martina Navratilova, you should. She's one of the most dominant players to ever swing a racket. Mm, I wish I had a drop volley game. She won 18 Grand Slam singles titles in her long career and her 59 total major titles are the most by any player, male or female, in the open era. She's also an author, equal rights advocate, and even an actor. Martina can do it all, including presenting our awards in tennis. Hey guys, Martina Navratilova here. You know, our sport is one of the few where teenagers routinely announce their arrival on the world stage. But it's also a sport that millions play well into their 70s or even 80s. The sport you've chosen to play in high school, to dedicate thousands of hours of your time, it is a lifetime sport. 
All of those hours can pay dividends in your future. Dividends in your career, your health, your quality of life. So I'd like to congratulate all the honorees tonight, but I also want to congratulate all of their teammates, their coaches, and of course parents, because they all played a part, not only in your recognition now, but in your recognition as success in the future. Here are the honorees for the Female Tennis Player of the Year. And the finalists are... And the Ohio Female Tennis Player of the Year is Elizabeth Pendergast of St. Ursula Academy. Senior Elizabeth Pendergast entered her varsity career on a high note as the Division I Singles State Champion. This four-star recruit won the title in an epic three-set match. Pendergast will continue her academic and athletic career at the University of Cincinnati. Congratulations on being the best in your state, Elizabeth. Here are the honorees for the Male Tennis Player of the Year. And the finalists are... And the Ohio Male Tennis Player of the Year is... Reese Yakubov of St. Charles Preparatory School. Reese Yakubov, a two-sport standout in tennis and golf, finished his senior year as a four-time state qualifier and four-time all-league performer in tennis. He's ranked as the state's number one tennis recruit by the Tennis Recruiting Network. Off the court, he's earned the ranking of a National Merit Commended Scholar, scoring a 33 on his ACT and maintaining a 4.12 GPA. This pre-med major will continue his studies and his tennis career at Ohio State. Congratulations on being the best in your state, Reese. Fonz, mm -hmm. a lot of people dream about running a marathon. I'm not one. <laughs> this guy usually runs one before breakfast. Wow, Dean Carnals has won the Badwater Ultra Marathon. That's 135 miles through Death Valley in 124 degree heat. Later, he ran a marathon at the South Pole in negative 35 degrees. In fact, this best selling author once ran 50 marathons in 50 states in 50 days. Whoa, 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 hmm. I think I just pulled it. I'm not sure. I think it's my hamstring. Tell you what, Fonz. Uh -huh. We'll let Dean present the cross country awards. And me, I need to find a massage chair. 50 marathons in 50 days? I'm going with really? you. Really? <laughs> hey guys, Dean Carness is here to talk a little cross country. Running is the most elemental of all sports. There are cave paintings of runners that date back over 15,000 years. They found a record of a running competition in Ireland almost 4,000 years ago. And guess what the first event was at the ancient Olympic Games in 776 BC? That's right, a foot race. Running is in our DNA. You cross country athletes are just better at it than most folks. So keep on keeping on because running is special. Here are the honorees for the Female Cross Country Runner of the Year. And the finalists are... And the Ohio Female Cross Country Runner of the Year is... Centerville's Mia Robillard posted her personal record and the fastest time of all female runners in all divisions at 17 minutes and 58.5 seconds on her way to claim the Division I state cross-country crown and to help her team to its fifth state championship. Her final performance of her sophomore year capped a season where she finished in the top three in every race she competed. Congratulations on being the best in all of Ohio. Here are the honorees for the male cross country runner of the year. And the finalists are. And the Ohio male cross country runner of the year is Nathan Moore 
of Lake High School. Lake High School's Nathan Moore won all nine races against Ohio competition and earned his first D1 state championship. His winning time beat the rest of the field by a whopping 27.1 seconds. The three-time All-Ohioan also placed fifth at the XC Town USA Meet of Champions in Indiana and is ranked sixth nationally. The Walsh University signee is also a talented pianist and violinist, an avid community service volunteer, and maintained a 3.96 GPA. Congratulations on being the best in all of Ohio, Nathan. Hi, it's Lori Hernandez here. Now don't dismount. Stay on your beam because gymnastics awards are right around the bend. Health. Suddenly that word seems more important these days as it's consumed all aspects of our lives and made our universes feel smaller than ever. But at Mercy Health, your health has always been our top priority, and we're staying as committed as always to personalizing the right care for you. Because whether here or from home, we believe your health care should always revolve around you. Mercy Health, primary care for the universe of you. Visit mercy.com slash primary care to connect with the provider today. Coach and I are both college basketball guys. So if you ask us to put a number behind the word final, it's pretty much going to be a four. But if you're a gymnast, your mind goes right to the final five. That unbelievable U.S. team that came home from Rio with the gold in women's gymnastics. Jersey girl Laurie Hernandez was on that amazing team. Along with the gold, she snagged a silver in the balance beam. Later, she won season 23 of Dancing with the Stars. Then she took a well-deserved break. But now, Fonz, she's back mm -hmm. for the first time in four years. She competed at the 2021 Winter Cup in a Captain Marvel leotard. Come on now. No less. Where she debuted a Hamilton-inspired floor routine that brought the house down. So how do you think we did with our gymnastics intro? Nailed, Nailed it. it. Hey, what's up guys? Lori Hernandez here, and I am honored to give some love to gymnasts from coast to coast. This is an Olympic year, so our sport gets some time to shine in prime time. Don't get me wrong, that's a great thing and all, but for you guys, it doesn't matter what year it is. You're in the gym, putting in all the hours on the floor, beam, bars, horse, vault, and the rings, because you all know that perfect routine is out there. And if you love that chase of perfection, then you'll definitely have mad skills in whatever career path you choose. You hear people say, leave it out all on the floor. Well, I'm here to tell you that even if you get a perfect 10, a lot of what you learned in gymnastics comes with you off the mat and into the real world. So congratulations on a great year and let's give out some awards. Here are your honorees for the gymnast of the year. And the finalists are And the State of Ohio Gymnast of the Year is Paige Yu of Highland High School. Highland's Paige Yu dominated the state meet with victories in the uneven parallel bars, balance beam, and all-around competitions. A sophomore, Yu had a second place finish in the vault and also came in third place in the floor event. The Highland star had the most points of any gymnast at the state meet and has already established herself as the most decorated gymnast in school history. Congratulations on being the best in the state, Paige. Ever have someone tell you just roll with it? Well, Chris Barnes followed their advice. He has claimed 19 PBA Tour titles during his 20 plus year bowling career. A 2018 PBA Hall of Fame inductee, he's rolled 55 perfect games and is the only bowler in history to win the Collegiate Player of the Year, the PBA Rookie of the Year, the PBA Player of the Year, World Cup Champion, and World Singles Gold Medal. Not a bad way to roll. Hey everybody, Chris Barnes here. Bowling is that rare sport where perfection is literally within our grasp every time we step on the approach. But there is so much more to get out of this amazing game. From physics to friendships, 
tenacity to teamwork, bowling is a great teacher. But it's one of those really fun, cool teachers who might be tough on you at times, but who years from now you're gonna look back on and can't conceive of your life without them. I know I sure can't. I was lucky I met my wife through bowling and talk about a perfect game. Of course, hers, not mine. So congrats to all you athletes who knows a bird dog from a bucket and a hand bone from a rain tent. And here's hoping you're striking for years to come and we see you bowling on TV someday. Here are your honorees for the female bowler of the year. And the finalists are the Ohio female bowler of the year is Jenna Stretch of Kenston High School. Kenston's Jenna Stretch won this year's Division I state championship. Her high score of 740 put her head and shoulders above everyone in the tournament. The junior was ruthless in the lane and will look to continue her dominance next year. Congratulations, Jenna. And now for the guys lane. Here are your honorees for the male bowler of the year. And the finalists are And the Ohio male bowler of the year is Jaden Combs of Marion Harding High School. Marion Harding's Jaden Combs won the Division I state tournament and claimed the state's highest score with a whopping 745. Combs also helped his team to a third plate state finish. A sophomore, he will look to continue his dominance in Ohio for two more seasons. Way to go, Jaden. Michael Johnson dominated sprinting with this unique upright style of running for the most of the 90s. Nicknamed Superman, his 16 major international medals, every one of them gold. Wow. After becoming the first and only man to defend an Olympic 400 meter title in Sydney, this speedy Texan hung up his spikes. And yet, to this day, the US record in the 200, 300, and 400 meters still bear his name but in his retirement, hasn't run like one of his races. Three years ago, at just 50 years old, Michael suffered a stroke and left him wondering if he would ever walk again. But with the same determination he showed on the track, he tackled intense physical therapy, making an inspiring and full recovery. So to present the awards in track, it is my honor to welcome Superman, Michael Johnson. Hey everybody, Michael Johnson here. One of the great things about track and field is there's an event for everybody. Doesn't matter if they're tall, short, big or small, fast or not. Everyone can excel at something during a track meet. But it takes all of those different kinds of people doing their part for the entire team to come out on top. That kind of inclusiveness makes you wonder how much better this world would look if we have more track and field athletes in it. I just know that I'm proud to be here to celebrate all of your incredible achievements from this past year. So what do you say we hand out some awards? Here are your honorees for the Female Track and Field Athlete of the Year. And the finalists are... And the Ohio Female Track and Field Athlete of the Year is Paige Floria of Mentor High School. Senior Paige Floria secured a historic quadruple crown and helped the Lady Cardinals earn their first Division I state track championship. The North Carolina commit broke the tape in the 100 meter, 200 meter, and 400 meter dashes. She also completed a season sweep when she won her 11th straight long jump title. She ranks number four nationally in the long jump and number one in Ohio. In total, Floria earned 55 first place finishes in the 100 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter, and long jump competitions this season. Congratulations, Paige. Way to dominate. Best of luck in North Carolina. And now for the guys' side. Here are your honorees for the Male Track and Field Athlete of the Year. 
And the finalists are... And the Ohio Male Track and Field Athlete of the Year is Nathan Mountain of St. Xavier High School. St. Xavier High School's Nathan Mountain dominated the competition in 2021. After a great season in cross country, he won the 3,200 meter run crown at the Ohio State Indoor Track Meet with the number two time in the nation. This University of Virginia commit finished his high school race record on top, claiming the Division I district title in the 1,600 meter run and setting a personal record in that event. His time was just two seconds off the state meet record set in 1988. Congratulations, Nathan. Top of the mountain for sure. Best of luck at Virginia. Hey guys, Marty St. Louis here. Stick around, up next, awards in hockey. Are you guys hungry? Yeah. All right, let's get some apps. Let's do it. It's as easy as that. Let us refill for you. Hey, you go, guys. Wow, that was so fast. Thank you Enjoy. so much. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Hey, I'll be right back. Okay. No one likes waiting in long lines or missing the big moments. Did I miss anything? No. That was quick. I know, right? Do you want a beer? Yeah. We're making it easier for you to get back to what you love without missing a single minute. Refill. Did I miss anything? Welcome back. So I've covered a lot of hockey, and as the TV host and reporter for the Carolina Hurricanes, I know a lot about the ins and outs and the fighting spirit you have to have when you're on the ice. And I know that without that fight, that hustle, it doesn't matter what else you bring to the rink. So when Mark Twain said, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog, he perfectly summed up Martin St. Louis, the five foot eight native of Quebec, Canada, who battled his way to an amazing career. The first ballot Hall of Famer led the league in scoring twice and collected a Hart Trophy for league MVP, a Stanley Cup, as well as an Olympic gold medal. His number 26 was the first jersey retired by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Not bad for a guy who was never drafted by an NHL team. Let's shoot it over to Hall of Famer Martin St. Louis. Hey guys, it's Marty St. Louis. I can't tell you how honored I am to be part of these high school sports awards. Because you guys do what you do for the love of the game. There's not a lot of glamour in 4 a.m. practices. No one is signing endorsement deals in the back of a car full of stinky equipment. So the fact that you all do that tough stuff, day in and day out, and season after season, it's a testament to your passion for the game of hockey. I can tell you firsthand that heart and will can take you anywhere. Here are your honorees for the Hockey Player of the Year. And here are your finalists. And the Ohio Hockey Player of the Year is Riley Box of St. Francis de Sales High School. Senior forward Riley Box of Toledo St. Francis earned the Northwest Hockey Conference Player of the Year Award and helped his team claim the first state title since 2015. The senior led the team in points with 47 and goals at 25 and had two assists in the Knights state title championship game. Congratulations on a great season, Riley. In a game defined by speed and endurance, Amanda Magadin has more than enough to spare. The 26-year-old midfielder from New Jersey has represented her country on the pitch since 2016 and collected 80 international caps to date. Our next presenter is still making her mark in the sport as a member of the USA national field hockey team. Today, she's here to recognize the next generation of field hockey stars. Hey everybody, Amanda Magadan at your service. Very honored to be here as part of this salute to all you high school athletes out there, but especially you phenomenal field hockey players. 
You guys are such amazing ambassadors for our sport. The players I see coming up to the national team from the college ranks have such strong games, and that all starts at the high school level. You guys are the base on which we build our national team. The more you raise the bar of your high school play, the more every level rises above you. So keep up the great work. The Olympics will be on home soil in LA in 2028. With your help, we can get back on the medal stand. And speaking of medals, why don't we hand out some awards? Here are your honorees for the Field Hockey Player of the Year. And the finalists are And the Ohio Field Hockey Player of the Year is Hannah Killeen of Hudson High School. Hudson's Hannah Killeen finished her high school career with 52 goals and 32 assists, capping it with her best individual season in 2020 with 21 goals and 17 assists. She was named an All-Ohio Honoree in 2020 and led her team to the state championship game. She will continue her career at Ohio State. Congratulations on being the best in the state, Hannah. When Alex Morgan steps onto the field, it's game on. She has thrived on soccer's biggest stages with a knack for late game heroics. Her goal and extra time in the semifinals of the London Olympics helped propel the U.S. to the gold medal. Wow. She went on to win the World Cup in 2014 and then again in 2019 as the team's co-captain. But you know, Fonz, hmm. She made just about as many headlines for off the pitch. This new soccer hero mom is an activist, a businesswoman, a philanthropist, actor, and best-selling author. Time even named her among the 100 most influential people in 2019. Wow, she's an absolute game changer for sure. And she's here to honor some future game changers following in her footsteps. Hey everybody, Alex Morgan here. I'm so happy to be here to help honor soccer excellence at the high school level. This ball has taken me around the world several times over. I've met some of my idols and icons because of it. I have some of my best friends because of it. I met my husband with it. I hope to coach my beautiful baby girl in the beautiful game one day with it. But it's not like this ball gave me any of those things. It made me work for them, thousands of hours of work. And a lot of those hours in high school, if you see your name tonight anywhere in this show, it means you're good at your sport, but it also means you aren't afraid to work. And that's good, because anything worth having is worth working for. So let's see who's put in the work. Here are your honorees for the Female Soccer Player of the Year. And the finalists are And the Ohio Female Soccer Player of the Year is Taylor Huff of Madison High School. Ohio's Miss Soccer, Taylor Huff, is a three-time All-American, four-time District Player of the Year, four-time Ohio Cardinal Conference Player of the Year, and a 2019 Division II Player of the Year. At her caliber, the senior could have skipped high school and traveled nationally to prep for college, but instead stayed to attempt to lead the Rams to a state championship, a feat she accomplished her final year with the team. During her career, she broke the all-time state record for career assists and holds the school record for career goals at 133. Huff will suit up in orange in the fall as a Division I signee for the University of Tennessee. Congrats on being the best in the state, Taylor. And now for the guys' side. Here are your honorees for the Male Soccer Player of the Year. And the finalists are And the Ohio Male Soccer Player of the Year is Luciano Picota of St. Ignatius High School. Midfielder Luciano Picota led the Wildcats to their second straight Division I state championship and a 21-0 season while racking up 14 goals and 12 assists. Ohio's Mr. Soccer, Picota will enter his senior year as an All-American selection and one of the team captains. Congratulations on being the best in the state, Luciano. 
TJ Watt here. Don't even think about moving. Football awards are coming up soon. No, really, don't move. I've been known to stop a few folks. Health. Suddenly that word seems more important these days as it's consumed all aspects of our lives and made our universes feel smaller than ever. But at Mercy Health, your health has always been our top priority. And as staying healthy and safe becomes more important to you than ever before, we're staying as committed as we've always been to providing the right care for you. Whether safely in our clean facilities or virtually from the comfort of your own home, we're creating the personalized solutions you need to meet you where you need us. Because no matter how the world around us changes, we believe your health care should always revolve around you. Mercy Health, primary care for the universe of you. Health care for the universe of you. Visit mercy.com slash primary care to connect with the primary care provider today. All right, Ohio, I've got my eye on all you Buckeyes, and I know you guys know your way around a party. So keep posting on Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag for a chance to win an autographed gift from one of our featured guests tonight. And now back to Seth and Fonz to get us going with more awards. If you find yourself crossing the middle of Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, be prepared for a heck of a greeting. Trent Jordan, T.J. Watt, is the youngest member of an NFL family dynasty, joining brothers J.J. and Derek playing for the Shield. Drafted in the first round by the Steelers in 2017, T.J. became the first rookie to start at linebacker for the black and gold in over three decades. He has earned three Pro Bowl selections, led the league in sacks in 2020, and is a two-time Defensive Player of the Year finalist, giving him plenty to talk about at family dinners. Today, he's helping us present the award for the best defensive football player in the state. Hey guys, TJ Watt here. Defensive players are always trying to make an impact, but our jobs keep getting tougher because offenses get more and more complex every year. And I'm not just talking about the NFL. I see schemes in high school games these days that were groundbreaking plays on Sundays just a season ago. But you guys have been up to the challenge. In fact, the reason offenses are more inventive is because you guys are figuring out their plan at an even faster rate. So if you do happen to get beat by some crazy play, don't hang your head. Take it as a compliment. And then the next time they run it, make that impact, both figuratively and literally. Here are your honorees for the Defensive Football Player of the Year. And the finalists are... And the Ohio Defensive Football Player of the Year is Gabe Powers of Marysville High School. Marysville's Gabe Powers advanced to the five-star recruit level with a convincing summer camp performance that helped to elevate him to the nation's number two ranked outside linebacker and number 17 ranked overall rising senior. This follows a shortened year where he still claimed 61 tackles and an interception in eight games. He also contributed on the offensive side, rushing for 594 yards and six touchdowns. The state's top ranked junior prospect will be headed to Ohio State state following his senior year. Congratulations, Gabe. They say the only way to follow a legend is to become one yourself. After backing up Brett Favre for three seasons, Aaron Rodgers took the helm and never looked back. In 2010, he won the Super Bowl and the Super Bowl MVP honors, and has consistently been one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL over the last decade holding the league's lowest career interception percentage and the highest single season passer rating in history. The nine time Pro Bowl selection was also named the NFL's most valuable player last season, the third MVP trophy of his illustrious career. Hey guys, Aaron Rodgers here with the distinct honor of handing out some of your football awards. You know, I have a lot of fond memories from playing high school football and quite a few that involve one of the great inventions of our game, the huddle. It is the quintessential us versus them unit. You are literally putting your heads together to come up with a solution to a problem as a team. You make up your plan, 
pick your snap count, which in essence is a secret code, then you try to execute that plan. But once the ball is snapped, that plan can change in an instant. So I hope you're enjoying your time playing and you will find it is good training for the road ahead, but you won't find anything quite as special as that huddle in high school football. Here are the honorees for the Offensive Football Player of the Year. And the finalists are... And the Ohio Offensive Football Player of the Year is Corey Kiner of Roger Bacon High School. Corey Kiner finished his high school career as one of Ohio's best ever. He rushed for 7,130 yards while helping Roger Bacon to a 10-1 record in the Division V state semifinals. He also posted 116 rushing touchdowns, which puts him just two TDs behind the state's all-time record holder. He won Mr. Ohio football in 2020 and will continue his career at LSU. Congratulations, Corey. You're the best in the state. They don't call Team USA wrestler Kyle Snyder Captain America for nothing. In 2016, he became the youngest Olympic gold medalist and world champion in American wrestling history. He later helped Team USA win its first world championship in more than 20 years. Simply an amazing athlete. He ended his college career as the first and only wrestler to win the NCAA world and Olympic titles as a college athlete. Wow. And he's here to present the awards in wrestling. Hey guys, Kyle Snyder. In wrestling, you need physical strength to be successful, but you need a tremendous inner strength to be great. You have to have a lot of faith in yourself. There is nowhere to hide out on the mat. No teammate can come help you. No coach can call a timeout to draw up a new strategy. It may be lonely out there, but it is also very empowering. It forces you to dig deeper, try harder, and hold on just a little bit longer. It helps show you what you can do. It is a wonderful gift that will keep on giving long after your last match. Here are your honorees for the Female Wrestler of the Year. And the finalists are... And the Ohio Female Wrestler of the Year is... Haley Snyder of Warren G. Harding High School. While just a sophomore, Haley Snyder won her second consecutive state title in the 101 pound division, earning a 3-0 decision in the final match. Snyder also captured the district championship and won all of her matches handily at state. Congratulations on being the best in the state, Haley. And now for the guys. Here are your honorees for the male wrestler of the year. And the finalists are. And the Ohio Male Wrestler of the Year is Patty Gallagher of St. Edward High School. A top recruit for Ohio State, Patty Gallagher claimed his second state championship despite a tough bracket that featured the number five and number seven ranked wrestlers in the nation at 160 pounds. Gallagher ranked as the nation's number one recruit, also earned his second Mark Zimmer Award given to Ohio's top wrestler. Congratulations on being the best in the state, Patty. You're the man. Get it done at Ohio State. In the fastest growing team sport in North America, Paul Rabel is scoring more than goals. Paul has seven championship titles through his college, professional, and international career. More impressive still is the three-time MVP has co-founded the Premier Lacrosse League, changing the face of professional sports by giving athletes a bigger investment in their clubs. Today, he's investing his time in presenting to the best lacrosse players in the state.
What's up everyone? I'm Paul Rabel, talking to all of you lacrosse players out there. You high school guys and gals are the vanguard of our sport. You're the ones out there showing the unfamiliar what an amazing sport lacrosse is. You're the ones bringing in converts from other sports. Our numbers are growing, our fan base is growing, and a lot of that is because of all of you. So keep doing what you're doing, and who knows? Maybe one day I'll be home watching one of you on network television in prime time on Monday Night Lacrosse. I like the sound of that. Here are your honorees for the Female Lacrosse Player of the Year. And the finalists are And the Ohio Female Lacrosse Player of the Year is Avery Schwab of Dublin Scioto High School. Avery Schwab led the state in assist, racking up more than 100 points on the season as starting varsity attack. The senior who finished her two season varsity career with 95 goals and 46 assists has been a standout star at Scioto since her debut freshman year. Schwab, who also claims a 4.2 GPA and scored a 30 on the ACT, will continue her lacrosse career at Eastern Michigan University in the fall. Congratulations on being best in the state, Avery. And now for the guys. Here are your honorees for the male lacrosse player of the year. And the finalists are. And the Ohio male lacrosse player of the year is Shea Keithler of Upper Arlington High School. Upper Arlington's Shea Keithler earned the 2021 Midwest Player of the Year honor, leading his team to the MLSCA Championship. Keithler was the best player for one of the best teams in the state and will continue his lacrosse career at the University of Maryland in the fall. Congratulations, Shea. Best of luck at Maryland. Softball icon Jenny Finch first caught the nation's attention pitching the University of Arizona Wildcats to a national championship in 2001. Three years later, she was on the world stage helping lead Team USA to gold medal at the Athens Olympics. She would collect a silver medal in Beijing and have a sterling pro career on her way to National Softball Hall of Fame. Jenny's focusing on family now, but still serves as an ambassador for the sport holding camps across the country, including her very own softball academy in Flemington, New Jersey. A leader and supporter of the next generation of softball superstars, Jenny Finch joins us to announce the best softball players in the state. Hey everyone, Jenny Finch here with a tip of the cap to all you softball players out there. It is such a great sisterhood, and I am so proud to be a part of it with you all. As you go through life, you'll always be running into fellow softball players, at your job, at parties, and yes, eventually, even at your own kids' school functions. They'll all be well-versed in rally caps and walk-offs, rain delays and double plays, shagging flies, and those oh-so-long bus rides. They'll have run a few miles in your cleats, usually one base at a time. So congrats to all the finalists here today. But as cliche as it sounds, you are all already winners. There is one thing in this world you can never have enough of, and that's friends. And thanks to softball, you will always have some ready to get your back. And nobody can take that away from you. Here are your honorees for the Softball Player of the Year. And the finalists are. And the Ohio Softball Player of the Year is Maddie Ogden of Williamsburg High School. Williamsburg 2021 valedictorian Maddie Ogden capped her impressive three sport high school career by putting some extra shine on the diamond where she threw 11 no hitters, four perfect games and struck out 300 batters. This follows an accident three years ago that put her in the hospital for 22 days requiring brain surgery to save her life and left doctors telling her she might not walk again. 
Adding to her stellar comeback story, Ogden will continue her softball career with a scholarship to play at Moorhead State. Congratulations on being the best in the state, Maddie. Fonzarelli, yes. how many teams did you play for in your career? I played for four different teams over 11 years. Wow, that's not unusual. Now, Chipper Jones' career, that's unusual. The Braves selected him with the number one overall pick in 1990, and they never let him go. He was the cornerstone of a dynasty that claimed 11 consecutive division crowns and a World Series title in 1995. Two Silver Slugger Awards, a batting title, a National League MVP, all during his 19 seasons in Atlanta. Wow. We are lucky to have this Hall of Famer here to announce the state's best baseball players of the year. Hey everyone, just want to lend my voice to the chorus of congratulations you've been receiving for all your hard work under trying conditions. Baseball is the quintessential American game with roots going all the way back to the mid 1800s. They were playing on diamonds decades before the plane, the automobile, or even the light bulb was inventing. And now you guys are carrying the sport into the future. Mixing tried and true practices with new technologies and analytics to bring these games into the 21st century and beyond. Nothing warms the heart of an old baseball guy like me than to see you all out there every spring. So keep rounding those bases, heading for home. Maybe one day down the road, you'll be the one handing out these awards to another generation of baseball players. Here are your honorees for the Baseball Player of the Year. And the finalists are And the Ohio Baseball Player of the Year is Gavin Bruni of Alliance High School. Alliance's Gavin Bruni claims Ohio's top baseball honor after continuing his dominance on the mound this season. The Ohio State University commit is highly regarded as a top prospect in his class due to his ability to command the mound and his strong skills at the plate. Highly anticipated to go up ML team's draft boards, Bruni proved his worth every game this season. Congratulations on being the best in the state, Gavin. Fonzarelli, you know mm -hmm. what made KG Kevin Garnett so special? What's that? The guy never took a playoff. He was fiercely competitive. He was a tremendous leader, and he was a winning player. He was the guy that if he was on your team, mm -hmm. you had a chance to have great success because he set the standard. Indeed, Seth. I had the great privilege of playing with him in 2000. After coming home from the Olympics, he needed a little blow to kind of get his legs back under him. He wouldn't take a break. He jumped right into training camp with us, went through the whole process. That's a leader of a team. He's a leader and a winning player. Named Mr. Basketball USA in 1995, Kevin Garnett was the first player drafted by the NBA straight out of high school in two decades. Wow, 15-time All-Star, also earned MVP and Defensive Player of the Year honors, as well as an NBA championship and an Olympic gold medal. KG retired after 21 seasons as the all-time NBA leader in defensive rebounds and joined Karl Malone and Kareem as the only players to amass 25,000 wow. points, 14,000 rebounds, and 5,000 assists during their careers. And now, to switch it up a bit, instead of taking home the title, he'll take his turn at announcing the best in the state. Here's the one and only KG. Hi, this is KG, and I want to say congratulations to all the honorees out there. Our game is growing more popular every day. You can see it all in the international kids in the NBA. You can see it in the highlight clips of the kids from around the world on YouTube. Some of the stuff seeing is just absolutely crazy <laughs> and mind blowing. I mean, we did some cool things back in the day, but these kids these days are taking it to a whole nother level. This all starts right here at home with you guys. Y'all are the heart and soul of our game. So it doesn't matter if it's in the gym or in the blacktop or in the backyard. All that hard work you do when nobody's watching, 
pays off in moments like this when everybody is watching. Here are some honorees for the Female Basketball Player of the Year. And the finalists are Ohio's Basketball's Player of the Year is KK Bransford of Mount Notre Dame High School. Mount Notre Dame's KK Bransford was big when it counted the most. The Southwest District Player of the Year and Ohio's Ms. Basketball scored eight of her 21 points in the double overtime period to lead her team to a 57-55 victory in the Division I state championship game, her second with the team. For the season, she led the league in scoring, assists, field goal percentage, and steals. Congratulations, KK. Amazing job earning the title of the best in the state. Can't wait to see what you do next. And now for the ballers on the guy side. Here are your honorees for the male basketball player of the year. And the finalists are and the Ohio male basketball player of the year as Malachi Branham of St. Vincent St. Mary's High School. There wasn't a better boys basketball player in the state of Ohio this season than St. Vincent St. Mary's Malachi Branham. The senior was named Mr. Basketball after leading the Fighting Irish at 21.6 points per game. He will continue his basketball career at Ohio State University. Congratulations, Malachi. Great job on taking the top honors in the state with some great balls. Hey everybody, it's Sue Bird here. You know I love to see some strong girls making a statement and pushing the bar higher. So I'm super pumped to be part of this show where we see so many young athletes doing just that. Coming up soon, the finalist and top award for the Female Athlete of the Year, presented by yours truly. So Fonzarelli, mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember this about me, but I spent a bit of time on the bubble and eventually it put me on the hot seat. You know, the one where everyone has an opinion on whether you're king of the world or you're not exactly the brightest guy in the world. <laughs> right, right. Of course, the head honcho, the drill sergeant, the supreme ruler, the mentor, the soul crusher. Yeah, you know the coach. That's a role that requires some thick skin and a little bit of grace under pressure. Mm. Our next award gives some love to these men and women who put themselves in the line of fire in order to lead young adults to greatness, create memories for entire communities, and leave lasting legacies that remain long after they've left the job. So it's no surprise we have one of those legends here to help us shine a spotlight on the top high school coaches in Ohio, where you definitely have to have your A game on to make this list. The new head coach for the Jacksonville Jaguars has found success at every stop in his coaching career, including a national championship for both Florida and Ohio State. Here he is, the legendary Urban Meyer. Coach of the Year, presented by Refill. It's always an honor when you're asked to be part of recognizing tremendous coaches at any level. It is even more special when it's for high school coaches. The traditional image of a crotchety old guy blowing a whistle and talking X and O's just doesn't hold up in today's world. For starters, there are tons of amazing female coaches doing amazing things at the high school level. And sure, coaches are still in charge of instruction of a given sport, but it's not about the whistle around their neck. It's about all the hats they wear. A coach, a teacher, mentor, confidant, mother or father figure, and sometimes simply a friend. It is one of the hardest yet most rewarding professions there is. And nobody did it better than our Coach of the Year. And the finalists for the Coach of the Year are... And the Ohio Coach of the Year is 
Mike McLaughlin of St. Ignatius High School. St. Ignatius High School's boys soccer head coach, Mike McLaughlin, has turned his program into one of the best in the state and the country. St. Ignatius won its 10th state championship in program history when McLaughlin's squad defeated New Albany 4-1. No program in Ohio has ever won 10 soccer state titles. The Wildcats were a perfect 21-0 and finished the season as the number one ranked boys soccer team in America. While McLaughlin has coached great teams in the past, he guided a younger team this season and it was one of the best coaching jobs of his great career. McLaughlin is a graduate of St. Ignatius High School and has been the head coach of the boys program since 1995. He has won more than 440 games and several national championships. For the last 18 years, his teams have received academic All-American awards thanks to a team GPA that is 3.5 or higher. While McLaughlin is not coaching soccer, he is teaching theology at St. Ignatius High School. He was inducted into the school's Hall of Fame in 2003. Congratulations, Coach. What a legacy you've built for the program. Now, let's give out some awards to some who've proven they know what it takes to come together as a team and bring home the wins. Here are your finalists for the Team of the Year. And the Ohio Team of the Year is Mason High School Girls Tennis Team. The Mason High School Girls Tennis Team has been one of the most dominant in the state for the last few years. The Red Comets won their fourth straight state championship and a 3-2 victory over Upper Arlington. Mason was ranked number one in the state for the whole season and finished on top to end the season. Head coach Mike Reed's squad was dominant in 2020 with a record of 24-1. The Red Comets won 10 matches in a row before losing to Upper Arlington. Mason didn't lose the rest of the season and had several big time performers leading the way. Congratulations ladies, very impressive season. And to all my friends in the great state of Ohio, OH. Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Galloway, head team physician for the Cincinnati Bengals and orthopedic and sports medicine surgeon at Mercy Health. At Mercy Health, we strive to provide the highest level of care to our patients just as these athletes bring the highest level of competition to their sport. The Mercy Health Male and Female Athlete of the Year Awards recognize exceptional athletes whose talents raises the bar for others. Whether it's a professional, high school, or everyday athlete, I see individuals work tirelessly every day to perfect their talent, which is what the athletes nominated for this award have done throughout the year to rise to the top. It is my pleasure to introduce the Male and Female Athlete of the Year Awards presented by Mercy Health. Congratulations to all of the outstanding athletes nominated for Athlete of the Year. We've seen so many amazing athletes. I mean, Ohio really does produce some players, right? Right, so now it's time to announce the best among all of these Male and Female Athletes of the Year. Let's start with the ladies. How about Sue Bird, mm. 18 years in the WNBA wow. with Seattle. 11-time mm -mm -mm. All-Star, four-time WNBA champion. Four-time Olympic gold medalist with Team USA. 2002 National Player of the Year at UConn. Unbelievable. Three-time Nancy Lieberman Award at UConn as the nation's top point guard. Wow. Two-time National Champion at UConn, 2000 and 2002. To give us an assist with announcing the Female Player of the Year. We have the all-time assist leader in WNBA history, the great Sue Bird. Female Athlete of the Year, presented by Mercy Health. Hey everybody, Sue Bird here. You know it wasn't all that long ago that the idea of putting the words female and Athlete of the Year next to each other would have seemed strange to a lot of people. But the true benefits you get from sports have never been gender specific. The lessons they teach are just as important. The skills they instill, just as valuable. The bonds they form, just as enriching for women as they are for men. It's taken some time and a lot of effort to get to the point where those truths have become self-evident, for most. There are still some minds that need changing. Luckily, these competitive young women are doing their part to do just that. 
Each one of our finalists have already proven themselves in their own sport. Now it's time to find out who of these queens of competition will leave with the ultimate crown. Female Athlete of the Year. Laura Gomersall, a junior from Hudson High School. Taylor Huff, a senior from Madison High School. Maddie Ogden, a senior from Williamsburg High School. And the Female Athlete of the Year for the state of Ohio is Taylor Huff of Madison High School. Tennessee commit Taylor Huff is one of the best girls soccer players in America. She was named the 2020 United Soccer Coaches National Player of the Year at Ohio Ms. Soccer. Huff had a legendary career and was a four-time All-American during her time in high school. The senior had 34 goals in her final season and found the back of the net over 130 times during her time at Madison. She also had an OHSAA state record 93 career assists. The senior was a four-time Ohio Cardinal Conference Player of the Year and a four-time Division II District Player of the Year. The forward capped off her career by leading Madison High School to a Division II state championship. Huff scored at least 30 goals in every season of her extraordinary high school career and racked up more than 350 career points. Best of luck in Tennessee. Go Vols! Talk about legends. I'm sure the male athlete of the year is already carving out his own legacy. But to have that announced by Shaquille O'Neal, big Aristotle, yes. that is legendary. He's feared by opponents and loved by millions. Shaq's combination of size, speed, and strength led to four NBA championship rings, an MVP, 15 All-Star Game appearances, an Olympic gold medal, and first ballot invite to the Hall of Fame. And his star power has only risen in retirement. Rapper, DJ, peace officer, businessman, analyst, actor, producer, philanthropist, he does it all making him one of the most recognized faces on the planet. My friend and colleague, the one and only Shaquille O'Neal. Male Athlete of the Year, presented by Mercy Health. Hey everybody, the Big Arrow Sato here. I know a lot of people are watching, but I want to speak directly to the finalists for Male Athlete of the Year. Let's face it, fellas, y'all are something special. You've set yourself apart. We know you got this. Now that people know your name and the kids look up to you, you have responsibilities to the community. That's part of the gig now. It means they know you do hard work to be great, but also you pay attention to detail. It means you rise to the occasion when your team really needs it. It means you make your parents proud. So let's give it up for the male athletes who are vying for the title of the best. And the finalists for the male athlete of the year are Malachi Branham, the senior from St. Vincent St. Mary High School. Justin Braun, the senior from Westerville Central High School. Kyle Snyder, the senior from Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy. And the male athlete of the year for the state of Ohio is Malachi Brennan of St. Vincent St. Mary High School. In a crowded field of highly competitive players, St. Vincent St. Mary's Malachi Branham certainly stands out. The senior was named Mr. Basketball by the OHSBCA in 2021. He was one of the top recruits in the country and will continue his basketball career at Ohio State University. In the last game of his high school career, Branham scored 37 points and led St. Vincent St. Mary's to its ninth state championship in school history. The senior is the first player from his school to win Mr. Basketball since LeBron James won the award in 2003. He was one of 30 players selected to play in the Jordan Brand Classic and was ranked as one of the top 30 players in the class of 2021 and one of the top 10 guards in America. In addition to Ohio's Mr. Basketball, he was also named the Ohio High School Basketball Coaches Association's Mr. Basketball, Ohio Prep Sports Writers Association Division II Player of the Year, and Cleveland.com Boys Basketball Player of the Year. He has the chance to be a transcendent player in college at Ohio State, and there are already conversations about Branham being the star of the Buckeyes next season. Congratulations, Malachi. Best of luck as a Buckeye. What a show. Really, congrats to all the honorees and winners here tonight. Yes, it's been a great seeing the next generation of superstars that I hope to be talking about years to come. 
And to all the moms, dads, grandparents, teachers, guardians, thank you for your support and for your dedication to helping them face and conquer their challenges, whether in sport or in real life. Mm. And one last thank you to our sponsors who made this show possible. Until next year, we're out. Congratulations. 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 A big congratulations to all the high school sport awards honorees. From the big shack of himself, big pat on the back. I just want to take a moment to give some props to all the honorees of the high school sports awards. Congratulations and kudos to all of the high school sports awards honorees. Big props, huge congratulations to all the high school sports honorees and winners. A big congratulations to all the high school sports awards honorees. Best of luck on the Big Diamond or wherever your next home plate may be. A shout to all the kids who won something. Shout to all the kids who was even mentioned. Shout to all the kids who played this year. Straight up, it's a crazy year. Proud of everybody for pushing through this hard times. Congratulations to everybody that participated and to everybody who won. Yeah.